How are you guys doing today? We're great. How are you doing? Blessed and highly favored. Amen. Amen on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was always telling people the only way I could be any better is if I was twins. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. So Scott, what's going on, man? Nothing much. I'm just uh, sitting here with Eric. He's doing awesome going through the information. Excellent, excellent. That's right. Well, Eric, very nice to meet you. You too. You too, Robert. Where do you live? Um, I live in Texas. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> nah, okay. I know you are. The reason I say that is I was born in Lubbock, Texas. Oh, were you really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm um I'm about forty about forty five minutes to an hour um west from Dallas in okay. Cleveland. Yeah, my dad was born in my dad was born in um in Dallas and my two brothers, my only two brothers were born in Leventon, New Mexico. Oh wow. That's and then awesome. we moved uh to Williston, North Dakota because of the oil fields. Right, right. Yeah. And okay. Got stuck up here in the cold. Do <laughs> <laughs> you like it? No. No. <laughs> but that's why we got a home in California too, so we just keep okay. going back and forth. That's good. That's good. Yeah, um I lived up in up in uh, back in the year I think nineteen ninety nine to two thousand I moved up to Michigan. Ooh. Um and all that stuff. And I didn't like that. It was like thirty below zero temperatures and things like that, but crazy, you know. isn't it? Yeah, and there, was, and there was a lot of rude people up there and everything else, but there was one one thing that I um, were, that I really enjoyed up there, and that was that's where um, that's where I found the Lord. That was the there you go. You know, yeah, so that was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did Did you find out that after you found the Lord in Michigan, you found out he was in Texas too? That's right. I did. Yeah, yeah, and he, yeah, yeah, and he speaks Texan. He does. <laughs> Oh, that's funny, man. Yes. So, how long you been involved in marketing? Um, I want to say about three years, but two years was nothing but just scams. It was like one scam after another. Everything I I got in was always scams and things like that. So, I've been here. I've been in marketing. Well, I'll say for about a year, you know. But I'm, you know, things like that. I'm not full time. I, I actually work three jobs. Wow. Um, Things like that, you know. Work three jobs, and and I also I pray for the sick, because um, I'm I'm gifted in healing, so I pray for the sick and things like that. And so I'm always having requests for that, or you know. And actually, um, give you a little thing that happened last night. It was so awesome. I work at Cook's Children's Hospital, um, as a power washer overnight. And this, I saw this guy coming from another hospital. He was walking with crutches coming down, and I just had I stopped him up. I said, can I, um, I said, I go, what's going on with you? And he said, well, you know, he had an old um, injury from the Army. And I told him, I said, okay. And I said, um, he, goes, he said, it healed up when I was in the Army. He said, I served in the Army for about seven years. He said, it healed. He says, but this morning I woke up and I was in so much pain. I said, well, can I pray for you? And he was like, yes, you can. It's like, okay. So I placed my hand on his foot. I commanded his pain to leave in his tendons and ligaments and all that in his foot. Everything needed to be completely healed. And I got back up, and he started moving his foot around, and he just looked at me with these wide eyes. He said, you've got to be kidding me. And he goes, hold these crutches. And he just started jumping around and running, and he was just so excited. It was, it was so awesome what God did for him. And he, he just, he, it just, like, just blew him away, you know. And I said, he's like, man, he said, you know, I hear about this stuff all the time, but he said it's different when it happens to you. Oh, you know, absolutely. People, you know things like that. I was like, yeah, this is awesome. I just love doing that. You know, but um, nothing. You know, yeah, there's nothing better than that. You know, so like you know, Scott. Um, Scott knows that you know I'm I'm a very busy person and things like that. So I try to do mark because I know marketing takes a lot of time and effort too. You know, so I try to balance my time out. I think that's where one of my main things is. You know, the balance of my time out because because you know, of all the work I do. You know, but, but yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's one of those things. Think about this. I, I when I when I got involved in marketing only because I was desperate. So right. you know my story. You know, I was extremely desperate and when I seeked out a mentor, it was, you know, they, they say a child can lead you. 
You know, right. And right. I was just ignorance on fire. I just, you know, totally 1,000% believed in everything that my mentor told me. Right. And, you know, I, I I just got as many people in front of the presentation <laughs> as I could. And right. today, I look at my, you know, everything that I do is my ministry, you know, because right. if I can get people not to have to worry about finances anymore by helping other people, I right. mean, it, it's incredible. So usually when I start helping people on a financial level, it always seems to come back where they think that if the finances were there, that that everything would be okay. Well, if they if they haven't you know if they haven't been saved, if they don't have a relationship with their creator, they right. see that empty hole. You know what I right. mean? Yes. So it's funny how you know this whole thing of what I've done has allowed me to be able to build relationships with people, and then you if it doesn't take long for people to go through some of my training and immediately go, wait a minute, you know this guy. You know, he's talking and he's bold and he you can tell he's a Christian. So mm -hmm. it never fails where they come back to me and they go, well, you know, I, I don't have the relationship, you know, with God that I want to have. Right. And then I get to work on that part of you, part of them. Right. And then yeah. That's when it really, really starts working crazy. So, you know, yeah. my whole goal with you, it, it, just like with Scott, my whole goal with you is, is um, you know, you got to really, 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 really love a job. Mm -hmm. to do it for nothing. Right, yeah. And, and so I tell people, if you would do your job and not get paid, then I think that you could, should continue to do it. On the right. other hand, if you're doing it and you would rather be healing people all day, then i got to get you to focus enough to get you enough money coming into your pocket where you don't have to show up at those other three jobs. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. It's true, yeah. Yeah, I actually, um, when Scott first um, introduced me to... Unlimited profits. He actually, I think he, I could be wrong, you know, but, um, but I think he would like he, he we talked for a while and he would share the link, but I never really, um, I never clicked. I was like, oh, okay, I kind of like passed it by, and he finally did. And when I, when I first, um, and I pray about everything, you know, and when I first got on to the thing, I actually just, there's something inside of me, my spirit jumped. I just started talking in tongues. And I right. told him about it, you know. And right. I listened. I listened to the teachings, and it was everything was like God based. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything that 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 it said in your teachings, I can I can refer back to the Bible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For everything. You're making all the hair stand up on my body. That's what I. That's yeah, what I, it's awesome. Yeah, that's you know? why I do what I do. A lot of people don't know this, but right before I get onto any training, even if I get in front of the room, you know, yeah. I. Can, Old enough to share this with you because you'll get it right away. And yeah. I just say, dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I surrender all. I surrender my thoughts, my 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 vocal cords, my body, everything. And I know that you're here to speak to those that have ears to hear. So all I right. just allow you to use all of me, and and I want it to be all of you and none of me. That's right. That's right. I get up on stage, and for the people that know me really close, like Eric Worre and some of these other people that yeah. have in front of the room, they don't have a, you know, and, and, and it was funny because yesterday they sent me this long email and right when I got it, it was talking about what I needed for a PowerPoint, you know, what did I need on stage, you know, I'm speaking in front of 8,000 people in, in a couple of weeks in Vegas and, and <laughs> as soon as they sent the email, then Eric said, you guys know Robert, he only, he, he only needs one thing. And and God's with him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, love it. <laughs> so you know, make sure he's got a headset and then get out of his way because he's just gonna <laughs> he's just gonna go up and get the yeah. people. Um, yeah, wow. so that's a lot, a lot of fun. And and if you like, like you know how you're you're um you, when you see somebody and and God speaks to you to just be bold and go ask them if you can pray for them. Yeah, yeah. I want you to think about that concept with marketing. Okay, okay. Because when I'm on Facebook, I first think of, I just say, you know, dear Heavenly Father, you have people that need to hear this. Right. You know, where, where do I need to go today? Right. And as soon as I do that, I'll think of places and groups to go on Facebook, and then when I go underneath there, I'm scrolling down, and I'm looking at people. And then I just, you know, just just with my spirit, I'm going, 
I'm going to reach out to that person there. And I click like and I make something, some kind of comment underneath them. And then uh -huh. I say, listen, I'd like to meet you on Skype or Google Hangout. And they come back and they go, I would love to do that. Well, when right. I'm first talking to them, all I'm talking about is what I can do for them. See, you right. know that, that, you know, we're, we're, we're supposed to be a servant's heart. That, you know, right. and, and so I'm getting to know them. And I'm saying, listen, well, what can I do for you? You know, is there, is there, what are you struggling with? You know, let me know what I can do for you. Right, and right. That's when they, that's when you'll always hear me saying is people don't care what you know until they know that you care. And right. so I heard this guy the other day and he's a extremely successful businessman. He, mm -hmm. he just retired at the age of 62 and wow. he owns uh, five, five, um, uh, he's a dentist. And he lives in uh, uh, La Jolla, California, you know, one of the wealthiest area codes out there. Right. And he just sold all of his businesses. And he put the money in the bank and he says, you know, I'm not done. I'm, I'm not done. I want to find something to do. And he says, I was searching on the Internet. And I seen your videos. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow. I said, well, awesome. Well, what can I do for you? And he says, you know what blows me away about you that I don't get? And I said, what? He goes, I really don't care if I get in or not. Yeah. Right. And I went, hey, <laughs> if God's speaking to you, I'm here to help you. But right. I don't want to get you in and get your money uh, if you're not going to do anything. I'd rather you keep your money or give it to charity. I don't need Right. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, you just, like, you, just you have that heart to, to help people and – yeah. And things like that, you know, and um, giving. And, You're really big into giving. And the more that people get to know me, I've, I've gotten some really great words, you know, from other people because I thought, you know, I love the Lord so much that I always thought I would be called into the ministry, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Until someone sat down and shared with me, you know, to some I give gifts of being a priest, uh, some some to a teacher. Yeah, that's to right. An angelist. Well, and I and and healing is it, you know? And you sit there yeah. and you go, wow. And he goes, so if God has shared with you the ability to help people generate cash flow to give back to the kingdom of God, why are you consistently looking to do something else and then what God's called you to do? Right, the trying. Like, yeah. ah, that, so that happened to me about 20 years ago. And that's when I thought, well, you know, what I, my goal is is to make sure that people that are called to God to do whatever that I make sure that they're not doing things for money when God's called them to do something that they're called to do. Right, right, yes. See what I mean? And yes, so, I do, yeah. yeah. I, I tell people, I tell people, even if you could wrap your belief and cause around it. So if you said to people that were open and bold enough that are believers, and you mm -hmm. said to them, Eric, very simply, you know, Listen, you know, I'm bold about what, what God's called me to do. I'm called to, to help the, the, the sick and, 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 and heal the injured. That's what I'm called to do. And right. the only time I'm not doing it is when I'm working a job to cover right. my bills. So right. I would like you to take a look at what I'm doing because I know that it's helping others because I'm with another brother in the Lord. Right. And I would like you to look at this, and if you feel called – I'd like you to not only support it, but I'd like you to get involved and share it with others. Because if right. you do that, that's going to raise enough cash flow for me so I can do what God's called me to do 24 hours a day. Right, right. And, and your words are actually something that um, that was inspired into my, you know, into my heart. You See? Know what I'm so, yeah. So, yeah. So this yeah. is just confirmation. This is just confirmation. Yes, yeah. Yeah, confirmation, exactly. And, and yeah. it's weird because if, if you're hanging around other brothers and sisters in the Lord, you know, most of them haven't gotten their calling yet. Right. If they, yeah. if they hear your story or they hear my story, they feel compelled to help us. Right. So I got so many Christians that are pro members, and I don't think they've ever made a dime. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> they just yeah. want to. They just want a fellowship with me. They just want to, yeah. uh, you know, uh, be connected to me because I'm always feeding, you know, the, the Word of God into them. And, yeah. and the more that you get to know Bill Ebert, uh, yeah. 
I mean, wow, God sent him to me, and, and that guy is just a genius. And awesome. he, he, um, he is so, uh, uh, he goes directly after people that have difficulty with rigidosity. You know, okay. so they got involved and they lost their way, and they just feel like religion is who God is. So Right, they, right. They don't have that personal relationship, so he shakes people up. You know, pretty crazy. <laughs> right. right. Kind of, kind of um, puts them back to their true identity in Christ. Yes. Get, well, gets them connected. I mean, I, right. I tell people that I tell people that are religious and read the Bible. I say, don't get mad at me for saying this, but do you know the first commandment? And they go, uh, I said, well, I, don't you think that's important? If God was going to put ten commandments, and then in the New Testament, there's really only two. Right. You know, that, yeah. That, yeah. that, you know, that it says, if you put me first, all things will be added unto you. Right. And I, and so right. let me ask you a question. If your church and your pastor and your Sunday school and your Bible is more important to him, mm -hmm. he could have made the Ten Commandments anything he wanted to. He could right. he would say, you know, put my word first. Right. That's no. Right. He said, put me first. Right. So he sends his son down here, and his son says two things. You know, put my father first. He didn't say put the Bible first. Right, he doesn't, right. right. <laughs> I, I get chills every time I talk yeah. about this. Yeah, it's good. The second thing is love everyone like you love yourself. I said, so right. if you, one, didn't have an intimate relationship with your creator, enough to know how incredible you are that he created you. That's right, that's you right. Need fall in, yeah. You need to fall in love with that person. Because God created only one of you. And That's so right. think of yourself in his image by putting him first. I'm not saying that a person shouldn't read the Bible. I'm right. just saying that the personal relationship with him is more important. That is true, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's kinda of like it's kinda of like, you know, um just because, you know, if you you know, if you stand what what was it? Um if you you stand in the garage it doesn't make you a car. You know what I'm saying? Just like if you oh, go to wow. church, it, really does, it doesn't really make you. That. That's a yeah, I mean, like if you stand in a church, it doesn't make you a Christian. You know, right. and, go, and going to church does it doesn't. Have, you know, there's a lot of Christians that go to church. They don't have that personal relationship with wow. with the Father. No, you know? I tell people. I tell people just like a just like a business opportunity. Okay, I'm first going to have Scott ask me if I'm open to hearing about something. Mm -hmm. I go okay. So then. I get introduced to a business opportunity. That's my introduction to the business. Right. Right. Now, after that, I want to know everything about it. So I might go through some videos, and I might go through the, you know, the policies and procedures, and I might go through the the quick step book. And then right. after that, it's time to build relationships with people. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> you know. And so I tell people. That, you know, I did in a Bible camp is where I, you know, at the age of 13, I got introduced to my Lord and Savior. And 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 I thank God that, honestly, I thank God every day and every, all day, that I wasn't introduced in a re religious way. Right. Because I I got saved out in the middle of nowhere. So, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, so, and it was funny because it was by a guy that was probably two years older than me. Right. And he didn't even show me a Bible or nothing. He said, well, listen, you know, I, you know, do you want something better? And I said, absolutely. And he said, John 3, 16, you know, and, and, yeah. and he said, listen, I'll walk you through the Lord's Prayer right now. And I said, man, I'm ready. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And my childhood yeah. was so, my childhood was so awful. It was like. You know, I didn't have a father, so it right. was, that day I met my true heavenly father, and That's now right. I've been alone since. That's awesome. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. There's a lot of. Um, sometimes I think that John three set John three seventeen, um, when like when um, things are read, like you know, when people call John three sixteen, I think it's real important to to put John three seventeen with it. I agree. Yes. Yeah, what it, you know, it talks about condemning because that's a lot of people condemn and things like that, you know. And you know, you know, that, it is so, you know, Christian people that confess they're Christians are the most judgmental people on the planet. Yeah, they are. Like, yeah, they are. yeah. 
I, I was watching, you know, not that I like Bill Maher, because I think he's sort of out there, but every once yeah. in a while he has that black professor that's on there that right. is, you know, a theologian. And he was on there, and he goes, do you know how many people in the world have been killed in the name of God? Yeah. No, because I guess Bill Maher recently, I didn't know this, but he's been going off on people that are from, you know, Islam, you know, and he's just right. saying, listen, if there's a whole group of people, uh, the way he said it was pretty hilarious. He said, so you got the jihads that are willing to do virtually any disgusting thing they can possibly do if you right. don't believe in their God. And he goes, but then if there's this group of people that say that they're peaceful Muslims, but they don't condemn the jihad. Right. Then how are they different? And he said, so, you know, not that I believe in Christianity either. He said, but you notice most Christians, if someone says that, you know, they're going to go out and kill people and they did it because God talked to them, you know, people are normally standing up and going, hey, that is not the God I serve. That's and right. He said he just wished that Muslims <laughs> would do that too, but they say, well, you know, um, you know, I don't agree with them, but I'm a fan of theirs. And he goes, that's sort of messed up. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, you, know, you don't see a Christian go out there and kill a bunch of people in a school or something, and then the right. next day you see a bunch of Christians in the street jumping up and down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, I know I've, I've talked to a lot of um, Muslim people, you know, and um, well, out of the ones I've talked to, you know, I've one of them, um, I led one to the Lord, but but um, he's gone. He actually changed his his name was like Muhammad or something like that when he first was on Facebook. And after he, I shared the Lord with him, and I just kept on sharing scriptures and things like that. And it, you know, the spirit of the Lord changed him. You know, and all that stuff. He actually changed his uh, before he got off Facebook. He changed his name to um, Grace Believer and things like that. Yeah. But um, he told me that you know that that a lot of the Muslims they. Uh, the, you know they they see all the um, all the stuff that goes on you know with the terrorists and all that stuff and they said you know that that it's kind of like uh, they said that that is not true Islam you know, so they they teach them that you know that's just someone who's um, not doing their they're not doing their part you know what I'm saying it's kind of like, kind of like, like, kind of like a Christian yeah it's like George Caress or any of these other people that you know twist the words of God and go right. up there and stuff, yeah. yeah right. Well, wow, what a pleasure and a blessing to meet you. You too. You too. You too. I got, I, I got to jump off here uh, in, in a few minutes to do the next deal. Did you have any quick questions you wanted to ask me? No. no everything is good. Yeah, I was going to say after you and I had this conversation, the the, 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 the rest is little. <laughs> uh, yeah, everything's good. Yeah, well, you've confirmed everything, so it's all good. Well, you and I know that... Um, you know, I just uh, I just ask God in the name of Jesus just to be able to give you a clear focus on the things that you need to do and and yes. that it shows you the fast results that you need to to get you in a position where the cash flow starts coming in and people just come to you in just incredible numbers uh, that you can help in every way so uh, so that you can put more focus onto what God's called you to do. Amen. Thanks. Okay. So, that. See you later, Scott. I love you, man. I love you too, Robert. Yeah. For introducing me to another brother. Try right. he's yeah, he's he's awesome. Scott's awesome. Yeah. Scott is incredible. Yes. I, I I I'll take a I'll take a million Scots any day, man. That's my goal. Buy more Scott. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> take care, Eric. God bless. How you too? You too. God bless you too. Thanks. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hello. Uh, we're still recording. You want to stop it, or do you want to just keep recording? I don't matter. It's uh, um, you're, you're, you're the one doing it. You're yeah, gonna stop it. All right, well, I'll just stop it right now. You're fine.